Well, my name is Chino Edmond Obiagu. I'm the executive coordinator of the Legal Defense and Assistance Project, LEDAP, uh, which is an organization based in Lagos, Nigeria, that's working to promote the rule of law and good governance in Nigeria. Um, the organization was set up in 1997 as a small network of lawyers working to protect, working to represent political prisoners in Nigeria at that time, under the military government. Um, but on return to democracy in 1999, the organization started uh, activities towards promoting access to justice and improving criminal justice administration in the country. Well, one of the things we've done in Ledger is to create models, models of legal aid, models of access to justice, and models of using the law to deepen democracy and to protect rights of women. Uh, in this regard, we had, over the last 10 years, um, developed the program we called the Indigent Defense Program. This is a program through which we uh, mobilize private lawyers and train them, especially young lawyers who are just out of law school. We train them with skills and human rights uh, protection, the skills to defend people, indigent people in the communities, and we encourage them to take up cases free of charge as pro bono lawyers. It, now, that program has, over the 10 years, created this IDP model that has sustained itself at a very cost-effective um, uh, level. And uh, what we're doing in LEDAP is to deepen, strengthen that system and to sell it to state, if you like, so that state governments can replicate that model and use it as their own public defender services. So for us, this, have, this strategy of moving from service delivery to impact on policy and reforms is perhaps the strength of our organization. And the method that we have lawyers, we have about 750 lawyers enlisted in our program across Nigeria. It means that LEDAP is present in every corner of Nigeria. So through the, these are members, we're able to reach out to as many state, as many state policymakers as possible. And every information, every, you know, so the strength of our network is what makes us uh, tick, if you like. Uh, one of the problems, challenges we face is the question of attitudes of people who work in justice sector and law enforcement uh, towards respect for human rights. As you know, Nigeria has been under the military government for a very long time. So most of the people working in the police and the military, uh, we are all recruited mainly during the military regime, and they have this attitude of repressing human rights. Now that attitude has not left the forces. People who still work in, the, in those uh, law enforcement agencies still have the perception that they can get away with abuse of rights. Of course, in addition to that is the question of corruption in the country. Uh, corruption is very widespread, and government at both state and federal level has not done meaningfully well in tackling corruption, in the area of punishing people who are found to be corrupt, even at a very micro level. And of course, thirdly, is the challenge of um, little or no low, at low knowledge and low uh, awareness of the people with respect to their rights. Because Nigerian people have lived under the military government for a very long time, people don't really, um, people are not very much conscious about their rights. We, we look at sources at two levels. One, Every day we, we assist people who cannot, um, who are poor, to, they cannot afford services of lawyers, and we bring hope and, and, and joy to their lives. Um, we, we, when, when our lawyers walk out of the courtroom with, uh, with somebody who has been detained for 10 years, um, uh, giving him freedom, that for us is a success because a life is saved, a family is restored, a hope is built. But beyond that, we're also looking at success at a micro level which for us is being able to make changes in the policies and laws in the country that can strengthen criminal justice administration and access to justice. Because we believe that in doing so, we contribute towards deepening democracy, strengthening the institutions of the state to deliver access to justice to people, and then promoting the respect for human rights.